One of the possible suspects is reportedly a Springfield mob enforcer serving life at the West Virginia prison. His name is Freddie Gayas, and the Globe says that he is known to despise informants. Bulger, of course, fed the FBI tidbits for years while terrorizing the streets of South Boston. Relatives of his victims have no sympathy, and tonight they're talking to John Atwater in Southie. I can't wait to open up that champagne bottle and... <laughs> and pop that cork. The families of James Whitey Bulger's victims are not holding back. That's a great guy right there. Michael Donahue was an innocent victim, investigators say, shot to death in his car. He went out and he never came home. Tommy Donahue was just eight years old when his dad was killed. He and his mother say Bulger's death finally closes an agonizing chapter that has consumed their lives. We can kind of, we can move on, finally start the closure that we've been searching for for years. Bulger had just been transferred to the West Virginia prison, and according to reports, other prisoners backed his wheelchair into a corner and beat him. It was a violent end to what was a violent life on Boston streets. Bulger's corrupt relationship with the FBI allowed him to elude capture, taking off for 16 years and hiding out in Santa Monica with his girlfriend. When he was finally hauled back to Boston, a jury convicted him of participating in 11 monstrous murders. He was ordered to serve back-to-back -back life sentences. He probably met a demise that uh, was similar to what he did to a lot of other people. Retired state police colonel Tom Foley helped spearhead the investigation into Bulger's crimes. To a degree, I would like him to be still in that cell maybe uh, thinking about the consequences of his actions every single day. But for some families of the victims, Bulger's death finally brings them a comfort they haven't felt in decades. He's gone, he can't speak, he can't hurt anybody mentally, physically anymore. So some relief for the families of the victims and still tonight no answers as to why Whitey Bulger was transferred to that specific prison in West Virginia. In South Boston, John Atwater, WCVB News Center 5. John.